This is Twit. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. Accelerate your career with IT Pro and ACI Learning. Test your new skills in practice labs with real-world simulations, hands-on experience, and test preparation. Use the code TWIT30 at checkout for 30% off a standard or premium IT Pro membership. Check out go.acilearning.com slash TWIT to learn more. What is Meshtastic? I know, I know sort of we, we've touched on this, but give us the, the overview, the 30,000 foot view. What, what problem exactly is this trying to solve and what can people do with it today? So uh, our, our sort of project tagline is uh, we're an open source, off-grid, decentralized mesh network built uh, to run on affordable devices that are low power. So um, essentially, the you know Kevin's sort of uh, initial use case of paragliding was you know there's no once you get to a certain point you you run out of cell infrastructure so having uh, low power IoT devices that you can pair via uh, Bluetooth uh, to your to your cell phone apps and and in the initial case Android uh, and be able to send text messages and location information that's kind of the core of uh, what Meshtastic is, and in terms of how it does that, uh, it's utilizing as as Garth mentioned, you know these these T beam devices were sort of the the first uh, you know pilot devices, uh, and they have a LoRa modem. Um, and for those that are not familiar with uh, LoRa technology, it's a it's a radio protocol that essentially um, can operate on license-free bands and it uh, uses spread spectrum technology and it it offers a ton of range uh, at low bandwidth operation um, and low power operation. So that's kind of that's kind of the core of, of what Meshtastic does and how uh, how it operates. And so what what kinds of data are we pushing using Meshtastic? Is this TCP IP stack, uh, location data? Now, can we do voice calls over it? What's the what's the landscape look like there? Most of the um, most of the messages that you would send with Meshtastic is kind of the core uh, use case of it is uh, text messages, very short text messages like you would imagine SMS um, uh, position location information. So you can send uh you know for the devices that have gps or can acquire a location from your uh your apps they can send um their position over the mesh um recently we added uh what we call waypoints so that's sending an ad hoc message where we're where we're saying i'm going to drop a pin over here and and you know have have an icon and a name so you can you can kind of share share that sort of thing there's also um uh, telemetry. So uh, one of the things that I worked on worked on initially getting involved in the project was um, augmenting a lot of our our supported sensors and getting things like temperature and barometric pressure. Um, you know, any any kind of sort of weather station type data pushed over the mesh. Uh, so the the main limitation with with our, uh, the LoRa protocol is. You know, you're dealing with such a small bandwidth, so you have to kind of really optimize things for the wire, and there, you're limited on what you can send over that. Um, there's there's not much room for things like video or voice or or porting a full TCP IP stack to um, over LoRa, but uh, yeah. <laughs> 